Hello there, welcome, come on in. It's great to have your company, and I mean that, I really do. If this is anything like my upbringing, it would involve somebody's mother carrying around half a bottle of scotch whiskey, wobbling Danny Boy off key, and tripping over into the shag pile. Is it? Let's find out. Hi, I'm here with three of the most attractive men in Australia. They're also known for their comedy skills. It's Glenn Robbins, Mick Malloy, and Wayne Ho. Guys, thanks for joining us on the show. It's attractive business, yeah. but seriously, yeah. I mean, you make up your own mind. Yeah. You're fluffing our pillows, Leon, yeah. there. What about two of the most attractive? Now, with every Adam Sandler movie I see, I like to amuse myself with a little game I call Which Sandy Will We Get? Will it be the boyish, violent clown obsessed with bodily function like Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore and Big Daddy? Or will it be the new Sandler, you know, the mumbling, withdrawn weirdo from flicks like Rain Over Me and Punch Drunk Love? Will it be the star behind the huge hits of The Wedding Singer and The Waterboy? Or the star behind the uber turds Little Nicky and Mr Deeds? But the one thing that's different that everybody is talking about is of course Leon. Well Dan, unless you're living under an enormous boulder in some sort of quarry on a rock planet in the middle of a desert, you would know that the answer to that is Heath Ledger. Ludwig van Beethoven. He was deaf, he composed things, and that's all I really know about him. Hancock, not a rude word. It's the latest Will Smith US Independence Day blockbuster release. And I know that you have the pastel jumpers. Did you each have a colour, like uh, the Wiggles, or...? I think uh, we did in the end. Yeah, we did have a colour. Was there puce or teal, or...? Oh, look you. Oh, you know no, your colours. No, no, no. Hey, you've had the packet of 72 Derwins <laughs> out before this interview, <laughs> haven't you? Penguins, penguins, penguins. They've taken over our multiplexes. First, we had March of the Penguins. That won the Oscar for Best Documentary. Then Happy Feet went along and won the Oscar for Best Animated Feature. What is next? A penguin win for acting, perhaps. Well, if Cher can do it, then any species can. Yeah, see, here's the thing I found interesting. You've got an hour of brilliant repartee, really great chemistry, great CGI, cool uh, gags flying around for about an hour, and then it kind of... And then there was just half an hour of people standing around doing Alec Baldwin impersonation. <laughs> you know, uh, he's fallen down the building and there's too many faces here. I didn't mind it. What does that mean for the city? I don't know. Well, he's big, he's cuddly, he's got a bushy beard, and many people think that he's a work of fiction. You could be a new hero for the masses. Uh, are you prepared to take that on? Oh, I, I don't think I'm a hero. That's, that's a pretty big word, hero. He's brought the action hero into the new millennium. That'll be the one that starts with a two for those people taking the quiz at home. Some of the finest Australian comedy actors I think uh, I've ever seen in my short lifetime. Uh, Wayne, the McAuliffe program, probably some of the most pristine television ever made in this country. Uh, you know, obviously the Degeneration, the Late Show. And then, um, Glenn, your performance, I think, in Evil Angels, A Cry in the Dark. <laughs> it's probably the most uh, understated uh, performance of 1988. So guys, obviously it's, we're expecting a, a real um, powerhouse performance in the film tonight. Uh, and so that will be disappointing on that front. <laughs> the momentum is like nothing else you've seen at the movies this year. It's like a runaway train. It touched us in special places I can't even mention for censorship reasons. So yes, it is stunningly crass and yes, it is amazingly puerile, but it is laugh out loud funny and it just makes for a bloody good night out. That's all we have time for. Thanks for donating your time. Don't forget you can claim that donation on your tax return next year.